Hey guys, I'm Jeremy Slaughter. I'm here at Harden Simmons University. I'm going to tell you about transvertebral direct current stimulation with, paired with your locomotor motor training in spinal cord injury victims. We're going to go over a case study that has, and we're going to talk about their research methods and how they came to their conclusion. Now, if you look over here, we're going to go over the purpose, which is to determine whether your transvertebral direct current stimulation paired with your local motor ga robotic gait orthosis is actually better and leads to greater chances in function than just your locomotor training with your robotic gait orthosis. Now the case would be classified as a descriptive case study, but you could further determine it to be an evaluative descriptive case study. Now that just basically means the purpose is to determine and collect all of the data that is possible from this study and see whether or not you should put it into practice, if you should include it in a program, if it's even worth using in your rehabs, anything. That's what this is determining. It's looking at all of the possible factors to look at it and to determine whether your rehabilitation process should include this. So as you can see though, I've never actually used it for a vertebral column injury. I've mainly used it for just muscle control, not really gait control. It's different, but after reading this case, it's very highly recommended that it will impact your patients with a much more positive note than just your normal locomotor motor uh, gait orthosis. So I think it's going to go very far and we need to study this a lot more. Now your independent and dependent variables are, your independent would be your obviously your locomotor training with your robotic gait orthosis because it was being used daily in both segments, your controlled and your experimental. But your dependent would be your transvertebral direct current stimulation. Now the patient was subjected to both the control and the experimental. So their perception of the study could have been tainted, which could have tainted the results, but it's unlikely due to the processes that they took and the methods that they used. The methods were because they used a double blind crossover study, which means that an investigator came in, set everything up before the participant and the physical therapist came in to do any type of workout or any type of work up that was designated for that day. The patient was a 54 year old woman with a spinal cord injury that was inoperable about 41 years ago. And that has caused a complete complication of her gait pattern. Now, every time she came in, they would clean the area around the spinal cord and around the areas that they needed the electrodes to be placed. Then they would place them. That way, there was no determining whether or not it was the sham trial or the experimental trial. They would go through their locomotor training with their orthosis at every intervention for 30 to 40 minutes, given pain. They also used the locomat. The locomat is what they use with their robotic gait orthosis to help with gait pattern, giving different weight bearing percentages and helping with secondary control of guidance. Now those forces could help them from falling or help them actually walk well 
and walk properly. The transvertebral direct current stimulation was only used on one side and on one portion. And so that was used for 20 minutes with your locomotor training. But to make it to where there was a control, they only used it for 30 seconds so that the patient still felt it and still felt like she was getting it, but there was no actual added benefit of using it in the control settings. The individual attest every time whether or not they were able to control or tell the difference between the active or the sham. And so your results show that the sham paired with your locomotor robotic gait orthosis isn't actually the best thing to use. It does show improvement, but whenever you pair it with your transvertebral direct current stimulation, then you're going to get an even greater effect, which is better for your patients in their rehabilitation process. The results varied, though, with what you were measuring. They varied from one to even eight times greater in this study, ranging from just movement to weight-bearing activities. That's a significant amount greater with your electrical stimulation over just using your gait theory. Now there's evidence to suggest the use of electrical stimulation in rehab for spinal cord injuries, but that doesn't always mean that it's the best thing to do for your patients because your patients have to have pre-existing conditions and we all know that that's not exactly going to happen all the time. You're not always going to have patients with spinal cord injuries that have to use this type of rehab. You also see that the electrical stimulation increases the person's ability to use their own muscles with their movements. So whenever you use the locomotor training in your robotic gait orthosis, using your own muscles is better, obviously, than letting the robotics do it. There are limitations, obviously. This is a case study. It's a single person. You're never going to get the same results on anyone else. So it's not good for everyone. But you also have to have pre-existing conditions of a spinal cord injury. And you want to be interested in this type of rehabilitation. This type of rehab isn't easy. It's not always fun. And it takes time. There's also limited knowledge on what is going on physiologically in the body. No one really can tell you everything that's happening whenever we use electrical stimulation on the patient. Now you can hypothesize, but you can't always determine what's actually happening with that patient. And so I really love this study. I really hope y'all learned something. I really hope you enjoyed being here today. And I really hope that this encourages you to go out and look into this and learn more about how electrical stimulation can actually help our patients get better, get stronger, and get better results. Thank you.